We definitely know that great light is shining on us, even though that many hours, many days of our lives we can pass while being in certain darkness, there are a lot of huge understandings and deep wisdom that is being revealed to us. And it's very important for the person to appreciate and to recognize those wonderful, wonderful sparks of illumination that are coming along his way. And when a person is grabbing something and grasping, understanding something, he needs to understand that this is not an empty thing, not only for his own personal development and spiritual growth, just also for the rest of the people who are around him. Many times we're getting a certain information that is useful also for our surroundings. Sometimes you learn about something and then a person is asking you a question and you say, oh, I just learned this thing. Might be that the main purpose, not the only, but that the main purpose or a very important reason for why you just now learned that thing was for you to be able to share it with other people. The most important thing and such a source of blessing is to influence others and to be able to be a lifeline for many people around us to find the truth on their own. Now, this is a very beautiful thing that a person is recognizing the individual supervision of the Creator on his life and understanding that he is being used as a tool, as a messenger, as a, like we said, lifeline, a lifeguard, a lifesaver for other souls around him. By understanding that, you can understand the importance of your creation. You can start building or continue building your self-esteem because the evil inclination, the Yetzirah, is fighting badly against us on a daily basis to break our self-esteem and to destroy our true happiness for being the ones that we are. With consistent criticism, negative thoughts about ourselves, judging ourselves, almost killing ourselves with our own bare hands. Look at your eyes, look at your nose, look at your ears, look at your brows, look at your eyebrows, look at your neck, look at your weight, look at your height, look at your outfit, look at your this, look at your that, all the time. The way you sound, the way you talk, the way you listen, the way you fell asleep, the way you woke up, the way you learn, the way you eat, the way you drink, the way you whatever. Everything is under the microscope of an evil inclination that is judging, criticizing, dissecting and cutting us to pieces with one simple intention, to destroy us. So why to cooperate with that by being a tool and to continue that damage to our poor and gentle spirits? For that we need to build our self-esteem and to rise above and to fight against that inclination and to start focusing on the good points of our true being. And it doesn't mean that we need to act and react like we're something else. It's just that we need to observe and to look deep and to start recognizing the real good qualities of our spirits. And when we find them along the way that the Creator is communicating with us, that we came to this understanding and to that achievement, and that we answered to that expectation of our own, and that we achieved a certain goal that we had in our lives, Every good point in your life is shining and has an eternal life that will always, always be as a tool in your hand to be used for the benefit of others. You can always use your life experience to share your thoughts, your wisdom, your conclusions with people that are starving, that are so thirsty on their roads searching and looking for faith, and you can supply answers to their questions. Sometimes a person will need you just to smile to him. Sometimes 
just for you to be able to share some kind of a hand, just to support in a small, friendly way, will be such a great, great favor, gesture for, for, for a person in need that we can never imagine how much life we can, we can bring toward and f to the person that is in that great need. We can be lifesavers of people without being geniuses, without being like so rich or wealthy or successful or role models or whatever. Just being simply the one that you are, smiling to a person, giving a hand, supporting, helping with, with a basket, helping with a penny, helping with an advice, helping with a good word, is a life-changing experience for many, many people. If you will look deep on certain things that inspired you, that gave you a reason to live, that gave you a motivation to continue, many, many times those were small things that, that touched your heart. A short clip, uh, a nice uh, meme, an advertisement on social media, a smile from a person, a picture of a butterfly, a nice... Uh, uh, flowers, bouquet, some nice good meal, some some short conversation over the phone, just a friendly message that someone sends you. How are you doing? What's going on? I hope everything is okay. Simple things can give so much sometimes, like a like a candy bar that is sweet and is small, and and can change your day, can uplift you, can can boost your energy. Also a good word and a nice smile, any kind of positive spark that you will send on top of the waves of the water can change lives of people, can pull them from complete darkness to great illumination and great happiness and great changes in their lives can be taken based on those small sparks that we shared with them. So for that, the beginning of faith is to believe in ourselves to believe that we are worthy, that we are important enough. And the fact and evidence for that is that the Creator is communicating with you, that the Creator is sending messages along your way, that the Creator is sending some good stones and wonderful um, rubies to your path for you to find yourself, for you to have nice understandings, for you to grow and for you to develop and for you to learn. And for you to be able as well to teach and to reach out to many others that are around you. Like we said before, you don't need to learn the Bible by heart or the Gemara or the Zohar or the Midrashim or to be a billionaire to give charity. Sometimes $5 and $10 and, 10 and $20 are amazing. Sometimes when you just give a person 20 cents for him to be able to, to, to finish his... Uh, payment in the grocery store without need the need to to search or to to cash bill or something is already such a friendly act that is showing so much brotherhood and, and connection people lives in such isolation and such separation that even small favors that even small acts can be so meaningful for our lives and we need to grab that advice. I know that I am doing the best that I can in that area. And as well, I believe that you too, or else the Creator would not push me and wake me up to, to share that information with you. The reason why you talk to a person is because you feel that he will get it, that he will, that he will understand it. So the best thing that I can share with you is the conclusions I have from my own life based on the feeling that I have that you are walking in a similar path, a path of holiness, a path of growth, a path of building our self-esteem to a high level of true self-awareness to the qualities of our souls because our souls are holy and beautiful and godly and nothing in the world can change it. The soul of a person is a godly gift and a godly treasure that was and is being treasured by the Creator inside our bodies. And our bodies as well is a holy chariot, a holy chariot, a holy structure 
that contains and holds godliness within, like a throne, like a godly throne, like a holy chariot that carries sapphire light, and the throne of honor that is the soul that, uh, that hovers upon the brain of, of the person. And we can transfer and can shine godly light down to earth, down to this world, in such enormous and beautiful ways that it's a pity not to use those tools um, that we've been blessed with. For you to use the tools that you've been blessed with, it depends on your self-esteem. If you're afraid to touch your weapon, if you're afraid to use your computer, if you're afraid to use your phone, if you're afraid to use your voice, how in the world you will be heard? There is no way in the world that you can be heard if you're not going to talk. We must talk. We must share our thoughts, our feelings, our emotions, our honest hopes and our sincere desires for goodness to take place and for unconditional love to, to cover the world. May Hashem, the Creator and Master of the Universe, shine His light upon us and give us the positive self-esteem to go and build other people, save other people's life with positive information and positive attitude and positive messages for everyone to find their souls and their truth selves in our days. Amen. Kenya Hiratsan. Thank you guys. Thank you so, 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 so much. May Hashem bless us all as one, always. Amen.